Greetings, sunshine and sunnies. It is I, Queen J Lotus Pimp Sunkies. Come with your child, right quick, right fast? Certainly. With a quick pick a card for love, honey. And today we are going to be getting some messages from our shadow selves concerning love. So, yes. The question I ask, messages I ask for from spirit is some love messages from our shadow selves. And like I said, we're doing this pick a card style. So, take a look at the different card groups. Each one is represented by a rebel oracle card as well as some little trinkets I got intuitively sitting on top. So, the first group, we have two little white lifesaver mints, as well as the rubber oracle card that says you are the best thing to ever happen to you. For the second group, we have glow in the dark spider decoration, and we have the rubber oracle card, you are loved. For group three, we have you look like a shit show for our rubber oracle card, and we have a cute little granite rock. It ain't that little, but yeah. <laughs> so, you can pick your group or your card based on the rebel oracle card or you can pick it based on the timestamp if you are viewing this from youtube or you can pick it based on the trinket that is sitting on top of the phantom mirror tarot card okay okay so again those little trinkets are for group one the two the lifesaver mints group two the spider group three the granite rock and without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into oh ain't gonna waste no time gonna get right into the specificities of these cards Greetings, group one. If you chose group one that means that you also chose the two white lifesaver mints and you also chose the rebel oracle card which is red, and it read off, you are the best thing that has ever happened to you. Now, the other side of that card, which is present here, says, go easy on your ass, buy your own damn drink. Now, right off the rip, like I said, that card is red, so that's definitely representative of the root chakra, and this is some messages to your masculine energy, specifically as well, group one. Now, you are the best thing that's ever happened to you. Go easy on your own ass, buy your own damn drink. So, the root chakra is all about security, stability, protection, and providing for so the messages of this card is emphasizing self-security, self-love through self-security. So it seems as though a lot of you may come from a background of not really having a good foundation of stability, security, protection, specifically from your parents, your community, your village. So going through life feeling like you can't depend on anyone, craving to be able to depend and or rely on someone or some people to the extent where a lot of you have probably felt somewhat resentful of being so strong and so self-sufficient. Some of you may have even felt like um, you fail yourself a lot, like you can't trust yourself, like you put yourself in a lot of positions where you have every right and reason to feel like you can't trust yourself. But your shadow self is saying that you're depriving yourself of self-love and you're participating in damaging your root chakra as well as your heart chakra. And therefore, setting yourself up for a lot of failures and setbacks as it concerns money and relationships because you keep telling yourself that you can't depend on anyone. You keep kind of like speaking negatively about yourself as it concerns having to provide for yourself and not giving enough gratitude to yourself for being able to provide for yourself. And to get specifically into the tarot card that we have present here for y'all, it is the eight of swords. It's right side up and spirit is saying your shadow self specifically is saying you are not in a prison. You are not in a prison, but you may feel like you are in a prison one way or another because of how you are isolating yourself, how you are ostracizing yourself, resisting, asking for help. Again, resisting, giving yourself gratitude, giving yourself props for how you've been able to protect and provide for yourself. And also imprisoning yourself by closing yourself off to the potential of other people being able to come in and protect and provide for you as well. Because you have committed to the belief that no one can protect and provide for you and no one will protect and provide for you. So if you truly want support and uh, mutually beneficial relationships that involves security and stability and protection and providing for, you are going to have to redirect and reform your belief system. And last but not least, the message behind the mints is giving starts fresh with yourself. Give yourself a clean slate. Allow yourself to go through a process of self-forgiveness. Forgiving yourself for whatever it is that you feel like you need to forgive yourself for, whether it's, you know, not giving yourself enough credit, forgiving yourself for anything, any way, anyhow you may get on your own nerves. <laughs> any self-accountability that you feel like you have to take, even if it's irrational self-guilt, things that you're blaming yourself for that have nothing to do with you. You got to release that too. And the way to do that is to take yourself through a self-forgiveness process. Commit to that. And it's going to make things clear as it concerns the truth of what is truly your accountability and what accountability you need to release unto spirit to dish appropriately to those it actually belongs to therefore balancing the scales of karma and this will help a lot of things fall into place in harmony as it concerns your love and money frequency and with all that being said child if i do say so myself honey i have milked this cow jara and i'm thoroughly appreciative for the exchange of vibes and if you feel synchronized please do me at divine design and like share and subscribe so that you'll be one of the first to be back through these queenly quarters for the next time and be sure to bless my comment section with your questions and conversations and as always i bid you in all ways like love healing and liberation emphasis on liberation Mwah. greetings group two if you chose this group then you chose the spider and you chose the rubber oracle card that red you are loved and it was pink and the other side of this card says you are here for a reason don't fuck it up so for y'all y'all shadow self is here to let y'all know that y'all are being guided towards an etheric type of love and it is directly attached to your purpose in this lifetime 
your spiritual purpose that is that you know manifests itself into the physical of course also never in order to get there efficiently you are needing to access the etheric realm level of love within yourself which is why the card is pink and why y'all are resonating with the color pink these days so y'all might want to get a rose course if you don't have one and also allow yourself to rock some pink if you will just a few active ways that you can access that energy in yourself and also there are some etheric heart chakra beats on youtube and a couple of other different platforms and so y'all are also the group that can't help but love honey y'all are the type of people that no matter how bad somebody does you you still love them you may not excuse their behavior continue to enable it you may not let them run all over you but you still maintain the sensation of love within you for them because that's just in your nature that's just in your purpose and that is also because you are an etheric loving being that's who you are and so y'all are having to get to a place of self-acceptance when it comes to that because it's very easy to be resentful of your heart space when you're a person who loves unconditionally effortlessly because understandably so there are certain people certain types of people that you feel like you should not love but you just can't help but to and you are needing to forgive yourself for that along with the acceptance and you may also even need to forgive god for creating you in such a way and that is okay don't feel shameful of that it's just a part of the process and the rebel oracle card honestly states it simplistically you are loved inevitably you don't have to do the most to get love out of people and your shadow self also wants you to know that even though you probably have experienced a lot of people treating you like crap and treating you like you are the worst thing that could have ever happened to them that's not a reflection of you that's a reflection of them not knowing how to process love and just being resentful of your love and the way that you radiate love to a point where they return it back in envy and they project how they feel about themselves onto you because they don't love themselves and they can't figure out how to love themselves so they are extremely resentful of you for having that ability effortlessly just built in you and even though it may not be so easy for you at times you haven't had you know life ain't been no crystal stair basically but you still have a level of a very very high level of resilience in your heart space that a lot of people are resentful of and they are extremely envious of so that one into your shadow self and your divine realm is wanting to emphasize that to you because they want you to understand that other people's fuck shit is not a reflection of you you are love and you are loved <laughs> and it's time for the love that you radiate and the love that you put out to be reciprocated to you it's time for you to receive your good karma from your love that you put out and like i said that you radiated and that also goes to show and spirit is saying that the love the great things that you did in love in past lifetimes your spirit that is in past lifetimes is also being repaid to you in this lifetime so that's what really taps into that you are here for a reason don't fuck it up because you probably have been experiencing a lot of temptation to act a fool and to treat people terribly as they have treated you to get revenge and your shadow self is saying don't use me like that not this time don't 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 do it don't do it don't use me like that i can be used and i'm here to be on i'm ready to be tagged in but that ain't the way that we that we need to go <laughs> so that's why y'all even y'all shadow self is completely on one accord with your higher self on no 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 let's not let's not get revenge let's continue to go the high route because it's bigger and better things in this direction and i'd rather my energy be used that way <laughs> so don't compromise your good karma because of other people's fuck shit and that being said we segue into y'all's tarot card that is here which is the six of cups so y'all are needing to do some inner child work y'all need to allow yourselves to have some fun do something that brings you joy and excitement and enthusiasm uh, for some of you you may want to go to a trampoline park go ice skating go regular skating you know do some childlike activities to bring forth a different type of energy in you energy of your inner child honestly and that's gonna unlock some good memories in you and really help you stay on board and on path towards your greater good because etheric love entails universal love so y'all don't need to limit y'all's concept of love and relationships to romantic relationships you're honestly not going to be able to do that if you are not able to thoroughly explore the multitude and multi-dimensionality of love and relationships y'all are not going to feel fulfilled because you won't be fulfilled so it's meant for your heart space to be fruitful and multiply as it concerns the essence and the acts of love as well as the money space <laughs> the financial realm so don't get lost in the sauce of transactional energy however a sign for y'all to keep in mind is if the financial frequency and functioning of the relationship is also not harmonious regardless of the nature of the relationship okay if it's also not harmonious then it's not it's not the work if the love is getting in the way of the money it's not the work okay so like i said and vice versa making sure that the love frequency and the financial frequency is harmonious in all of your relationships but keep that in mind because that'll apply differently to each person and the way that you're meant to perceive it and work for yourself will be different based on your specific experience so yeah and all of this is also going to push you in a direction to help you get more willing to forgive and to forgive and also radiate forgiveness which i'm hearing will also help you to radiate an energy that effortlessly brings peace to conflict 
So, despite her here, the spirit of Anansi may be trying to get in touch with you all, which also gives a bit of trickery dickery doc, honey, some trickster energy. But this energy can also be fun. You just have to use it in the right direction. And again, this has a lot to do with temptation, resisting the urge to use your power for evil. So again, y'all have a very special, very specific purpose, which is also very challenging. But I'm also hearing that y'all are the type of people, wow, y'all have the special task of <laughs> not choosing violence, no matter how tempting it is. It's meant for y'all to also have people around y'all that are very protective of y'all that has the divine realm's permission to be on go for you. Okay. Now, of course, they also have to learn to operate in the right divine high vibrational energy as well. But... It's just, you know, specifically on y'all. Y'all ain't meant to have to really lift a finger like that when it comes to conflict. So, when conflict is inevitable and it's coming towards you. But the Divine Realm is saying that uh, they, they put in specific people around you to make sure that you don't even have to, you don't even have to deal with that. <laughs> and these seem to be some very calculated people as well. And it's very likely that their animal totem is the spider. So, I'll be sure to do your own research on that. <laughs> and keep a good eye open and with the glowing dark element that this spider has that resonates with you all as well as your soul tribe where y'all are people who glow in the dark y'all shine the brightest in the darkness and that's also why a lot of people be hating on you so it gives that y'all are also the sun y'all have sun energy yes you're a star but you the biggest star the main star the sun so not only does your light bring life but it also brings about truth to power. Mm -hmm. And with all that being said, child, if I do say so myself, honey, I have milked this cow dry. And I'm thoroughly appreciative of the exchange of vibes. And if you feel synchronized, please do me a divine design and like, share, and subscribe so that you can be one of the first to be back through these queen quarters for the next time. And be sure to bless my comment section with your questions and conversations. And as always, I bid you in all ways like love, healing, and the liberation. Emphasis on liberation. Mwah. Greetings, group three. All right. So if y'all chose group three, you chose this granite stone, which I found in somebody's yard. <laughs> and y'all also chose the rubber oracle card that read off you look like a shit show. And the color of that card was red. So that's an affirmation that we're dealing with home life and the sense of home. So the love messages from y'all shadow selves is for y'all to get very intentional about establishing and reevaluating your sense of home. And this will come, yes, by way of healing and working on your root chakra, but y'all are also being called and directed to work on y'all's earth star chakra, which will get into past lives and generational pathologies, curses, and good karma, generational blessings as well, all of that. Um, and like I said, past lives in a multitude of different ways. There are also some binaural beats and things on YouTube that you can find that can also help get you started as well. You should also be able to find some affirmations online that can help get you started as well. I may try to leave some links in the comments to some of those tanks. So yeah, the reading off card came out, you look like a shit show. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry y'all. But that's what it said, that's what came out y'all. But the interpretation behind it is basically, it's given that aesthetically, naturally, y'all are very beautiful beings. But... Y'all may kind of come from this, I often hear it said as a light skin complex, like um, the stereotypical concept that a lot of light skin people think that just because they light skin, they don't have to do much to be cute or um, they don't have to do much to um, progress and climb ladders of society and other different environments and things of that nature, right? Um, so it's given that like because y'all are so effortlessly talented and effortlessly beautiful in the physical sense and all that and may even attract money effortlessly as well, you radiate this essence of wealth and abundance. So you kind of feel like you don't have to try that hard. And in a way, you don't. But also, you could be so much better. Also, it's meant for you to be so much better. And I'm also hearing that a lot of you keep attracting people who seem to only do so much or only get so far or um, seem to only fulfill you halfway or only fulfill you but so much. Because that's kind of how you're operating with yourself and how you're operating in your own purpose. And in certain ways, how you may be operating in your relationships. Like, yeah, you're a good partner, but are you a great partner? What ways can you improve? Because it's causing you to start to look like a shit show where you're starting to come off inauthentic, not only to other people in certain ways, but also to certain parts of yourself. Certain parts of yourself is coming through to challenge you to put your money where your mouth is. So as the other side of that card says, you're a hot mess fact. Clean yourself up. Please, go ahead and step out of your comfort zone and get some discipline about yourself, get some consistencies about yourself, get some structure about yourself, okay? Okay? Get a regimen of tending to yourself, okay? Make this a daily to every other day type thing to freshen up your workspace, your living space, your sleep space, your home space, your car space, your bodily space, your spiritual space. Get more of a consistent regimen of this so that your crown chakra can be thoroughly harmonized with your heart chakra and your root chakra because there's this 
frequency of instability, um, whereas it's given certain major parts of your root chakra is underactive because you don't have a good sense of home. And I'm not talking just like in a physical sense. You may have a home that you live in, but internally in a spiritual sense. And when it comes to your relationships, you lack a sense of home and or your sense of home is warped or it is damaged, wounded and needs healing. And we get into the tarot card that y'all have here, which is the King of Pentacles and it came out sideways. So again, y'all probably have a really good money frequency and a really good love frequency effortlessly. You don't have a hard time getting a date. You don't have a hard time of uh, people being attracted to you or even coming in and paying for things for you, buying you things, stuff like that, you know, um, coming in the clutch for you, like talking about. And you are a person that's also able to do that for people. At the same time, there seems to be some sort of lack mentality going on. Whereas you show some gratitude and you show some accumulated faith from these moments where God shows you that you are taken care of, that people care about you, you have a village, that the divine realm is taking care of you and making sure that you have a roof over your head, clothes on your, on your body, that, you know, there are people and other villages and communities, organizations and things of that nature that are also in existence that are there to support you as well. You open yourself up to it. So there's some sort of resistance there um, to embrace a sense of home, to settle somewhere or anywhere, okay? Um, it's going to become more clear to you as you go through your process, but... It's coming from a place of being wounded, it seems. Being uh, constantly wounded by people in your home space, potentially from childhood, potentially um, when you first moved out on your own. You may have lived with someone or some people who did you harm or made you feel unsafe in your home space. Or you've experienced house burglary or somebody breaking into your car or something of that nature. Domestic violence could also be something that disturbs your home space, your sense of home. Again, not just the physicality of a house, but your internal spiritual sense of home, as well as being home and being safe in your body and feeling trusting of your body to be able to protect yourself and defend yourself if you need to. Anything that compromises that type of trust compromises your sense of home. And that affects, like I said, your root chakra, but as well as and cause your root chakra to pollute your heart chakra and dissociate from your crown chakra. So trying to bring that harmonization back. But Spirit is saying that y'all are on a really good track and that y'all do have some really good karma coming down the pipeline and some of it you're already experiencing. But you got to stop sleeping on yourself. You got to stop sleeping on yourself and neglecting yourself, thinking, oh, I can just come back to me. I can go ahead and do this and, you know, I'll be here. When no, tend to yourself first. Tend to yourself first into everything that you need from yourself for yourself first stop letting people pull you off of your track stop letting people pull you away from you when you are doing things for you yes there's a time and a place to be selfless and you know sacrifice if you will to be there for other people to show them that they're worth it to you and all of that but it seems that a lot of you have gotten to a place where it's excessive where you've made it uh, a habit on down to a lifestyle to drop everything you're doing for certain people and rush to their aid to do what they want and need for you to do. And then you just come back to whatever it is that you're going to do for yourself. You got to cut that out because <laughs> that's harming your frequency of receiving. And that's also causing you to neglect yourself and therefore blocking you from opportunities that can help you heal your sense of home. And those negative attributes may show itself and may show themselves in your relationships where things become very transactional or you end up um, attracting a lot of people who feel like they can just buy your forgiveness with gifts and trips and dates and things of that nature as opposed to taking real accountability and giving real apologies. Also potentially attracting a lot of people who value more so what you can do for them versus who you simply are. Those negative attributes can also show themselves in your relationships whereas you may have and or do attract a lot of predators. People who want to come in and prey on you. They see your potential and they also see the way that you sleep on yourself so they want to come in and fill in the blanks and puppeteer your greatness for the way that it benefits themselves and all at the same time put you down to, to further blind you from your greatness and your potential and your capabilities y'all are the king of pentacles whether you're male female no matter how you identify y'all's masculine energy is very strong for a reason one way or another and it's very fruitful and it's meant to multiply and it's meant to be very prominent and big and loud it's just also why y'all need to have high emphasis on your femininity and being grounded in your sense of home all at the same time and, you know, putting together those elements of femininity with that sense of home as well as your masculine energy with those feminine attributes and your sense of home. And this King of Pentacles energy has high potential to evolve into Empress energy. Again, no matter if you're male, female, or how you identify, or whatever, it can evolve into Empress energy to help further your abundance into generational wealth and healing further generational frequencies and creating more generational blessings than curses okay you picking up what i'm putting down yes <laughs> and so y'all do kind of have to calm down don't chop off don't shrink your masculine energy but needing to balance it out and get it more to an even kill because as it seems as though y'all are meant to evolve into empress energy y'all need to attract emperor energy so you have to even kill your masculine energy to create space for more abundant 
valuable masculine energy to come in. And I'm hearing that whoever that emperor energy is, they're going to also have really good dose, a really good dose of queen of pentacles energy. Talking equally yoked. <laughs> so I'm hoping y'all are able to comprehend and implement everything as to divine design, honey. And with all that being said, child, if I do say so myself, honey, I have milked this cow dry. And I'm thoroughly appreciative for the exchange of vibes. And if you're feeling synchronized, please do me a divine design and like, share, and subscribe so that you can be one of the first to be back to these queenly qualities for the next time. And be sure to bless my comment section with your questions and conversations. And as always, I bid you in always like love, healing, and liberation. Emphasis on liberation. Mwah.